Yo everyone, what's going on? Can you see him back again with another video? Watching the latest, just released literally in the last probably like 45 minutes, Camiso Labs, The Lord of Necropolis version 1.1.0, but we'll call it Necropolis 2 for now. Teaser trailer, I am joined for the first time ever <clears throat> on the Can You See Him YouTube channel by Holy Soul, aka the Holy Blade. Holy, how are you man? I don't know if Holy's there. Are you there, Holy? There. I just had some interruption on the, <laughs> on the wireless. He, he's leaving me. He's leaving me hanging. <laughs> no worries, man. But yeah, so you've not seen this, right? Am I correct, Holy? You've not seen this yet, no? <clears throat> no, I haven't seen it yet. So it's <sighs> it's exciting. Completely, completely fresh. Completely fresh. So um, it's pretty much confirmed. That by from sources holy you confirm this yourself that we're going to get a release date in this trailer aren't we I believe I hope so yeah so do I <laughs> we need it we need a release date but without further ado let's just react to this and uh, we'll give our thoughts on it after so ladies and gentlemen Lord of Necropolis version 1.1 let's get it oh it's looking good oh the music Fuck off, bro. She's dual wielding. <gasps> Dude, what? Oh my god. That's a fucking gate! He made it even more trolly with the worm. What a troll. Is that a mini one? Yeah, it's it's the rest. It's like the the small rest <clears throat> that remains after the final fight. There's something inside the in the in the lamp. There's something in the lamp. Yeah, there was an item dropping from the lamp, and there are the merchants that he teased on the other on what? the other two videos. Who's, Who's this? That? Who's this guy? Oh my oh, god! RE2, uh, RE2 rooms, yeah, these were confirmed the to be in it. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so shove it down. Use the knife on it. Oh my god. Oh, the, the Son Goku. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Son Goku name. Are the flowers? Oh. Do we know about the flower? Uh, Oof. But exploding flower doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Oh, that image, bro. Oh, look at that image. Is a holy fuck, dude. This, <laughs> is, this is like super hype. October 24th. October 21st. Oh, my. 24th. Oh, my God. October 24th. Okay, so now it's official. <clears throat> it's official. Now it's official. October 24th. Nothing more. Hold on. Secret this footage. This is a... Wait a second. So long, RC. Oh, shit, dude. You know what this is. Brand new ending. You know what this is. This is the new ending, dude. Oh my god. Oh, this dude, oh man. God. This man is. Hold on, right? Okay, so let's go back to the beginning this quickly. Man, get, get this man under contract. <laughs> yeah. Right so we're just going to pause it here. Okay, so what's going on here, man? <laughs> this is like. First of all, this is like super badass because you <clears throat> made it that Jill carries <clears throat> all the weapons that she has in the menu and uh, on her yeah the, the model now carries all the weapons that you have in your inventory which is like crazy dude look at this that's insane look at it, you know what would be even cooler Go on. if jill has two rocket launchers mm. in the inventory that they are in in x form in the back oh like crossed over like oh yeah, my god yeah 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 dude. Oh, do you know what i'm thinking as well for this part this is my this is my kind of my my thoughts is I think this could be the ending of her walking through the city with all the guns, like you say, and sort of looking at looking at the destruction and then getting I mean, you know let's 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 think what happened on the old version of the game. On the old yeah. version of the game you have you kill Final Enemy yeah. with the rail gun. That's right. From RE three remake. And the game ends, but Nemesis is still alive, and yeah. you cannot you do cannot choose the outcome. Nemesis still stays alive. Yeah, that there are two different outcomes: either you escape or you die. That's it. Yeah. Which is was a new ending to the to the game. That's right. But we always wondered 
what happened with Nemesis because you had also the new game plus where you go into the altar to the church to the chapel and you do this 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 ritual with the gate and then you start new game plus so what I think is and this is my estimation now um, is that you either he's gonna have like a an option which would be sick like this is just me wishing something now right so I don't think that he did it but this is me wishing now something my wish would be and that will be totally sick <clears throat> bear with me because this is really amazing okay we're we'll building up to it <laughs> you do this this could be an idea to further expand the mod if it's possible of course you do the final nemesis fight you can choose from two options escape if because i think like th there are two options either you escape with a helicopter if you save carlos the helicopter is coming but if you do not save carlos there's nobody coming so i think what would be amazing is you do the bad ending where nobody's coming and then you get the option to go back yeah so yeah. you go back nemesis is gone <coughs> And you have to go back to the city to escape. Yeah. And then you only have the timer running, a specific timer until the city is being nuked. Mm. You have to go to the city because Nemesis escaped from the dead factory in yeah. his uh, in his late form, in his end form. Mm. He escaped from the dead factory. He's now in the in the city, and you go back to the city. To finish him off because you're dead anyway. Yeah. So you might as well finish him off, mm. and you go back to the city. The timer is running until the city is being nuked, and you have to kill off Nemesis. Oh. And to see the true ending, for Amazing. example, the true. You yeah. have to kill him. You have to kill him, and maybe use it like a like a gate or has somehow something like this that he had in the in the new game plus. Yeah. To go out of the city, you know and get that final cutscene you get out of the city before the city's being new uh, uh, and then it's it's the true ending i mean like, I, 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 I mean it's, i'm pretty I'm, I'm confident that what you described there is 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 where it's going to go like we're, we're talking about going back through the city to exterminate and this has been i mentioned this in my last video i did but we talked it took Camiso did talk about going back through the city in a comment that was left and exterminating nemesis in the city fighting him there and you've still got the rail cannon as it's been seen in his trailer, so I think you're on the money. I think you're on the money there. So let's continue a little bit more and um, see what else we've got to see here, because there's some things in there. I mean, here's from the last trailer. We saw this part. So this we didn't see. She's in the bar now. So we're going. It's like we're going through areas, like we're exterminating the last. Yeah, it looks though as if she's going back through the whole city. Yeah. With the railgun at hand. Yeah, exterminating. And you have to probably go with the railgun at hand because the mechanic is like this. That if you. Uh, unequip it the railgun falls to the ground falls to the you ground have it with you <clears throat> exactly yeah it's like you're exterminating the last remaining zombies or something like you're you're getting your revenge in a sense like she's coming back she's yeah like, i think i think this is a continuation to the band ending yeah yeah i like that the analysis there is really cool right so that's that scene see look at what's really interesting i don't know if you noticed this right but look at look at this mechanic now watch as she knifes the dog watch this now usually when you knife dogs in in any resident evil game they're stuck in a corner they're, they're downed and they're pretty free aren't they you would say would you agree with that they're pretty free yeah yeah they're, they, they get they get stunned immediately exactly yeah. yeah so watch this dog mechanic watch this it rolls out of the stun yeah it rolls out of the, <laughs> of the stun lock you cannot stun lock the dogs anymore let's just, oh my God. Let's just do that again let's just do that again i don't know if it's just a specific dog but look at that roll out no 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 no. he implemented a back roll for the dog amazing you cannot stun lock him anymore you you've seen the strat that i'm using in the speed run at the piano where i get him stuck there and yeah. shoot him down yeah this is just insane yeah. i mean enemies have escape mechanics <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> He's making it harder on the speedrunners, man. Yeah, <laughs> he knows. I mean, there are not a lot of them anyway, but you know. Yeah, we know. I mean, He's... <laughs> to me and you, most for the most part. We know he's been watching. Yeah, you uh... know, you know, you guys are watching. <laughs> Let's move on to the next part here. 
So yeah, so the dogs. Okay, right. So let's just. Yeah, let's... this is the troll. Okay, so let's go here. back like, here a little sec. Right, we're going to catch this right. here. Just pause it on the gate. Right. So. This I'm not a fan of. <laughs> so okay. I'm sorry, yeah. <clears throat> but I'm not a fan of this. This fight has been a troll in the previous version anyway, and he probably implemented a gate in between, and that's gonna troll you even more. What I'm wondering is how does this gate work? Because it's obviously pretty. I mean, do you go through the gate here? Do you do you go through mm, it? No, I think you you the, the gate triggers from the switches in the in the underground there. Right. So you think you um, come down here first, trigger one switch to go back to trigger another switch and come back through again? Yeah, it will have double switching. Because <sighs> I mean, there's a little bit more here in the footage. Like she goes, so the, the ladder's not down. I can't tell if she's activated the other switch quickly. Let me just have a look. No, the other switch is not activated. No. Like the, the other two switches are not activated. You would have to like you see that it's two reds. Oh yeah, which means so it's not been touched. When you when you when you've activated one switch, one of those two points there on the panel, those two mm. uh, lights is green. One of them, right. not all of them, but one of them. And once both go green, you can lower the ladder. The problem is. Here they're both red, mm. and and there is a gate in between. So what? It will be reverse. You would have to do first that switch near the ladder. Yeah. Then probably, probably you would have to raise the gate with the with the switch that draws the ladder down. Yeah. Go through the gate. Go back. Do the other switch. <sighs> if he's gonna, if he made it more trolly, he would have a timer there. You would have a timer where you would have to do this all over again and then go back kill the worm lower the ladder and be done with it. unless it's, it's you insane. don't have to kill the worm anymore and unless <clears throat> see that was unless. a big that was a big complaint of a lot of casual kind of players of the mod who just kind yeah, of yeah a lot of people complain the about worm this. fight I even was myself mm, to this day for this the worm fight was incredibly like toxic in the fact that it was so difficult to maintain and like health if you didn't know strategies and you weren't willing to put time in to develop new strategies you know and it was a part, a part of the mod i think which a lot of people kind of said i'm, I'm done like i'm finished you know I, I can't you know or they used yeah a lot of people a lot of people dropped the mod at um, this moment at that moment yeah. a lot of people stopped playing i will say though one saving grace of it was the fact that the debug menu was implemented before it came out previously so you know, Gemini's patch actually gave access to the debug menu to give yourself weapons, health, ammo, and all the rest of it. So that was a saving grace for a lot of casual players who just wanted to kind of see the ending and finish the game and see what it had to offer for a casual experience. So that was, you know, that, <clears throat> you know, I've had it on one of my yeah, previous agreed, videos. But still, that's, mm. that wasn't the, the intention on how it was meant to be played. Yeah, of know. course. Yeah, yeah. But, um, let's continue on a bit more here. Don't see any interactions with the gate, so don't really know. So this is quite interesting. I don't know what this this section means because obviously with Carlos, like I've never actually killed these hunters here in the lobby, so I don't know what this means. But I'm looking at the Does hunter the now. Hunter drop anything? I don't know, but when he's shooting him, the hunter's dodging his bullets <laughs> like he's moving left to right. You see that? Yeah, the hunters were dodging. Uh, so this seems like the the final fight in the city. Mm. Also, probably that that final version of Nemesis is chasing you too. Yeah. So you would have to shoot him down multiple times. Yeah. And what's interesting is I look at the weapon that Jill's holding. That looks like a brand new weapon. Uh, what was the shot coming out of it? It was looking like a shotgun blast. Let's rewind just a second here. If you watch the shot as he shoots, blue shells. Looks actually it could be the, it could be yeah, the spaz. This is a reskin. Yeah, reskin. This is a reskin mm. for the, the the shotgun with modified uh, blast. Yeah, for this is something that you can modify. Yeah. Yeah, the spaz. Yeah, so the spaz has been reskinned, and this nemesis looks a lot smaller than he usually does. He's actually been torn apart a bit, like ripped open. So okay, yeah, so, so this is the item from the lamp. Mm, yeah, but this is after she's been knocked out as well, isn't it? Because she's wearing the dress. Yeah, yeah. So probably you will need a key item. You need this to, to for a key item. Yeah, there it is on the ground there. Crows are crows have made their way back in because they weren't. Cro there, there were crows in the. Um, there were crows. They were crows. They were they were removed, um, just for zombies only in version one hundred four. So it was like pure cro pure zombies, no crows. The crows are actually a lot easier to work with. You just run straight through them. But yeah, crows are back. They're back in it. So there's an item drop there from the lamp. 
and obviously we've got the merchants here. We talk, I talked about that in a previous video, but we've got the merchants. Uh, the woman and the man. Yeah, the merchants are going to be exchanging uh, item for item. Yeah. I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, now this I is... no yeah. idea. So, two options on the tram. You've got the train crash option and the brake option. You know, um, I'm guessing this, this is... is the, uh, this is the first option. Yeah. So, does that mean now that there's an option to jump off the train? Because I know previously if yes, you did... Yes, there is an option to jump off the train now. And probably that guy is coming in to save you. Yeah. Is he the man that hangs himself in the clock tower, you reckon? Yes, that's the guy. You think that's him? Yeah. Yes, that's the guy. That ties the storyline with the guy that yeah. hangs himself in the uh, in the clock tower. Come that's down. the guy. Yeah, it's looks his like... model. Yeah. Okay, so this is really cool. So this is like an... I'll just pause it here. So here's the RPD. You're coming down that door there. So I'm assuming that's the way you get in. Um... That's going to be the door at the statue. Yeah, judging by the way. You're coming from the door far back, mm. which is the door at the statue. And we have an, ele an electronic box as well. Yes, this is the same electronic box as is in R3 Remake, yeah. for the people that don't know. Yeah, and... Uh, this is coming new to this to this version of the mod. Incredible. It's been yeah. showcased in previous <clears throat> videos. Yeah, and... Um, yeah, I mean, just... What would you need to do in this room, do you reckon? What's the purpose of being in here, do you think? Um, I have no idea, and I have no idea why he's knifing that guy here. Because <laughs> that fight knife with a knife is going to be a pain. Yeah, I suppose obviously showing those, the shove mechanic here. Getting him down on the yeah, ground. Yeah, you can shove him away, mm. but probably... Yeah, yeah that has been added. Pikachu Nim. Flower bags. So the, the flower, flower bags, bags are new. Pikachu Nim. The, the flower bags have been showcased before Pikachu Nim was probably the only way that i can think of is he's showcasing and this picture is just it's got all it's the so, money yeah it's the money dude it's, it's amazing it's isn't it? I, i'm not I'm my money even take, if this was a yeah. paid game i would pay for it it's absolutely today. gorgeous absolutely gorgeous this, this, this is, is a thumbnail by the way I oh 100 percent clean thumbnail. 100 percent. this is absolutely gorgeous image i mean Whoever did the artwork for this, um, round of applause. If it was Kamiza himself. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm so looking forward to this. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, I have the suspicion that because everybody was avoiding Pikachu Nemesis, mm -hmm. probably you won't have the option now. You would have to fight him. Yeah, yeah. At I that mean, form. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. I mean, I'd, uh, even if, if I just saw this artwork with a date on the bottom, like we see now. See the date come up here. Twenty fourth, exactly. So we're twenty fourth. Two weeks. So what, two if you weeks. showed that to somebody, <laughs> you said two oh, weeks. Oh my god! Imagine seeing that on the shelf. It's a Sunday. It's a Sunday. <clears throat> How is it that a a modder for Resident Evil Three is able to put out a trailer that gets us more excited and hyped than the actual trailer we because just got? Because this is creative. This yeah. is creative. This is a lot. Of, so there's a lot of creativity, creativity that went into this. Mm. If he manages to, to squeeze in that extra ending, which we both know he did, yeah, um, because that's what he is teasing with us. I mean, you can play the video on. We can we can see see that yeah, that, definitely uh, yeah. The teaser <clears throat> in the end where Jill escapes yeah. the city. This is a uh, that's a background. That's a screensaver. That is, I'm telling you. <laughs> So well done. So long, RC. I mean, look at this. So long, RC. You know, the sun's right setting on another day. She's escaped. She's on the city outskirts. It's over. You know. This is a new ending. Yeah. For sure. 100%. 100%. This is a new ending for sure, and it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And I am... Um, Definitely sure. What I'm pretty sure what we were both are gonna be doing at the 24th. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100. I mean, it's. I mean, it's gonna be hard not to, to stop playing this when it comes out. It's gonna be hard because you've got all these new features and all the new ways you could probably play now. Plus the new ending, like you say, we're gonna we're expect we're expecting to get. Mate, this is gonna spawn mm. a new category for the speedrun because mm. there's gonna be a new ending to play against, and it's also gonna change the speedrun routing it did significantly. Yeah. But I do believe this is gonna be an amazing, an amazing reimagination of RE3 to play. Yeah, I, I called it um, 
probably the most important Resident Evil 3 mod ever made. Like, this is... You know, I don't... That you could put... You can mod enemies in rooms and... The thing is, like, this is the, the RE3 remake that we wanted. Yeah. Just with old school graphics. If this was the RE3 remake... Promise. With updated graphics. Yeah. That would have been it. The dream. The dream. The dream. The dream. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Just looking forward to it, man. It but blew me away. The only thing that I disliked was I'm assuming the potential making of the worm even troll. Yeah, here, here we are. Your favorite part. <laughs> Your favorite yeah, bit in the trailer. Yes. <sighs> um, I, it's nerve. It's nerve. It's nerve wracking because I, I don't know. I mean, this gate. I, I don't know what. I mean, I'm I've, I'm agreed. I'm agreeing with you. I reckon you fall down here now, and the worm fight starts immediately. And then you've got to just open the switch up and go through the gate here, switch the other gate and come back and then leave. I feel like that's the way to go. But then it could be the other side of the coin, like like we talk about, like people got that annoyed with this fight and it felt like it was too much. So instead of having a fight, it will be like a puzzle room. Switch, the, flip the switch, get through the gate, flip the other switch in a certain amount of time and get out. Done. No fight. <clears throat> That could be the case. That could improve the overall experience with the game, but we still have to see if that's the case. Yeah. So uh, October twenty fourth. Yeah. So um, yeah, man. I mean, what, I mean, I could talk about this for ages, but I know you've uh, you're a busy man. So uh, we can uh, we can leave. Yeah. The it. final verdict from <laughs> my side is I'm super excited to yeah. play it. I will be playing it first drop in no matter when it's gonna drop 100%. probably you yourself too oh 100 percent and, yeah, um, and then we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be finishing it we're gonna be enjoying it and then we're gonna be speedrunning it definitely i'm really looking for, it's gonna be a long i don't know how how long you plan on playing for but i got a feeling it's gonna be a long session for both of us <laughs> definitely that's, i'm gonna be probably having to take the monday off <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh so excited and i hope everyone watching this video it's excited as well. I've done loads of videos on the past um, previews in the past at the uh, mechanics and everything. So please make sure to check out all the other videos relating to Resident Evil 3 Lord and Acropolis by Camizo. Um, and please make sure to check out my uh, co commentator for this video, Mr. Holy Soul, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Holy Soul, and on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Holy underscore Twitch. Is that right? Holy Soul underscore Holy Soul under, underscore square. Twitch. Yeah, yes, yeah. Make, exactly. Make sure you subscribe to that channel as well. Currently, because... currently, currently on the move on making the fastest time ever made on the, uh, uh, on the on the, uh, the, the the version of Necropolis yeah. out yeah. till this date. <coughs> and after we're done with that, we're gonna be tagging the new version. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. And uh, I was I was saying this the other day in one of my other videos on the tutorial video I put out for the previous version for people who are interested in how what goes through my mind when I was running it. That is it's it's hap makes me happy to see that something I uh, kind of created with with help from others and just put together, you know, and uh, got the run out was uh, it makes me happy to see other people running it who are better at the game and seeing the progression it's made in like you know such a short. Well, not short span I of time. do hope I do hope that if this releases a lot more people are going to be showing interest into it because I do believe that this is the the better thing to to speed run but it deserves we'll main stage it does it deserves like you say I think it, it like, deserves more attention yeah yeah I 100% agree and I think a lot of my time in the future when this is released is going to be dedicated to getting this shown um to a lot of eyes a lot of people and and uh you know, showing that even if you're not a, a runner per se, and I say that with quotations, you can try and just you know, because that's the beauty of mods running them is that you can make up your own rules. You know, not not like rules for the game, but you can make your own sort of rules and how you engage it. And I think that's the beauty of you know running mods is that you're 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 in control, and it's a collaborative effort, and it, and it shows collaboration. And you know, and there's none of this kind of you know, it's not about times. It's just about what can you do to improve every time you play yourself you know and then uh yeah set you know set yourself goals the good thing about then we have to then i'll close with this is mm. if you try to speed run these mods the first thing you have to learn to, to to learn how to do is to survive because that game these mods can kill you even if you're the best in the game yeah and i think it's uh 
it's a great way of improving your skills in in those type of games and uh, I think it's uh, it's a great opportunity for a lot of people that forgot about the old games to dive back into them. Yeah, breathes new life. And that's yeah, and uh, does big congratulations to Camille as well for just create. What well, he creates a masterpiece, and then takes it back into the studio, and it, it's a basically another. It's another game. It's basically another game. It's like it's insane. It's another game. Yeah, it yeah. is another game, but it is, it is such a noteworthy installment like it deserves more attention it deserves to be played more it deserves uh, all the credit i mean we are giving Kamizo all the credit mm -hmm. on our side yeah. it's an amazing achievement to even <clears throat> get this game so far modded yeah yeah using i don't the... have anything else to add no it's no amazing. i think i just think this image speaks for itself speaks volumes it speaks volumes yes. Let's do it. Yeah, excellent, man. Thank you man. very much for having me. Appreciate it, man. Thanks so much for reacting with this meeting. I knew it, as soon as I saw it come out, I was like, I have to get you on to react with me because I know you're excited as much as I am. You know, it's it's great. It's brilliant to uh, to have you on board, man. I, I knew I knew you'd enjoy it as soon as I, as soon as I as soon as you started playing it, and it just yeah, it's incre incredible. Yeah, incredible. So really really excited to dive right in on October twenty fourth, man. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> set your clocks but yeah thanks so much man and uh appreciate everyone watching make sure to like and subscribe i know you guys are watching and uh yeah i'll see you on the next video take care all the best and uh bye bye care bye bye